So now we're going to talk about some rates, uh, some rates and some proportions. So suppose your car can drive 300 miles on a tank of 15 gallons. Let's express this as a rate. So a rate, uh, or a ratio, or a proportion, uh, is basically a fraction involving the two quantities. So I could write 300 miles per, or in, 15 gallons. Uh, so I could write this as a fraction, and then oftentimes we'll, we'll, we'll create a unit rate. A unit rate is a, an equivalent fraction with 1 in the denominator. So in this case, uh, we could reduce this fraction, and let's see, 300 divided by 15 is 20 miles in 1 gallon, which usually we would just write as 20 miles per gallon, or oftentimes you'll even see it abbreviated as MPG. So this is a sort of basic unit rate. So now let's look at a basic proportion. Uh, a map scale indicates that half an inch on the map corresponds to three real-world miles. So if we have a map, and we see two cities, and we measure the distance to be two and a quarter inches apart on the map, uh, how far apart are they in, in the real world? And so this goes back to uh, sort of equivalent fractions. So this is going to say, we could say, one half inch on the map is equivalent to three real miles. Uh, now, we could also write it uh, the, the other way around, three real miles over one half inch on the map. Doesn't really matter. Um, and this is equivalent to the same rate or the same ratio uh, for the second quantity. So in our second quantity, we have two and a quarter inches on the map and some unknown quantity of miles. And because question marks are kind of annoying to write, we very commonly will introduce some kind of variable, either x or n or some other letter there, to represent the thing that we don't know. Uh, so now we need to solve this for, for our unknown quantity. So we could do that by multiplying both sides by x, and when we do that, remember x is equivalent to x over 1, then the x on the right will reduce and we'll end up with, we'll end up with x times 1 half over 3 equals 2 and a quarter. Now, b this mixed number is just going to uh, be difficult, so let's go ahead and convert that into a uh, improper fraction there. And now, uh, we could either go ahead and divide 1 half by 3, or I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of my equation by 3 over 1. That way, I can just get my 3 to reduce. And so now I've got uh, x times a half is equal to, what is that, 27 over 4. Uh, and then uh, one last step here, uh, I need to get rid of that 1 half, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 so that my 1 half simplifies. Uh, so on the left, I've got x. On the right, I've got, uh, let's see here, I, oh, I guess this simplifies, doesn't it? Yeah, so I got 27 over 2, uh, or in other words, 13 and a half. And remember, x was representing real-world miles. Uh, and so this proportion, proportion equation, showing that these two rates are equivalent, uh, allows me to figure out, uh, how far these th these these cities are apart uh in the real world